What's going on guys? Switzy back here with more Dark Souls 3. Part 18. We are in the Old King's antechamber and right back there is where we uh, got that tome and kind of messed around with that area last time. So we're going to start off by going down this little walkway here. Put this shield on and dead all right so we're gonna hang a right and another right get this ember and yeah, there's gonna be a poison enemy here real treat and we get 10 shard so hanging another right out of here as if we went straight Thanks for making my life easier, bud. Alright, so... If you loop back around... I do suggest killing all the enemies. We will... Mo if not most... All the enemies we encounter, just because they'll most likely follow you. Um, where is where we came in? Okay, so here is the stairs that we just came down. If we would have went straight... Instead, we hung a right right there, so wrapped back around. Um, we're going to be encountering a lot of those same type of enemies like we're fighting right now. So be ready for some, in my opinion, annoying enemies. I am going to try to kind of minimize how hectic these fights can get and kind of try to handle them one at a time uh, especially in the next room there's gonna be quite a few of them with two fire statues so do do with that creepy where's the other fire statue there he is trying to hide from me oh wow all right we are going to be getting the Foom Ultra Greatsword this uh, part, so do be ready for that. It's going to be pretty sweet. Not to mention an intense battle. This part is going to be a little bit longer just because uh, there's still quite a bit to do down here. And uh, some parts get a little bit hairy. So as you come down this hallway, hang a left. There's going to be an illusionary wall. And there will be a knight in here. As the message reads, knight ahead. We'll give him a good message for that. And then down there is where we'll be heading shortly after. So let's get with this knight. We'll let him fight off that enemy for us. Oh, how you doing, buddy? Definitely press the wrong button there. Um, going through this area down here and everything we're going to do, don't be really scared to use your Estus. Uh, you know, it's sometimes, uh, whoa, short, a uh, little run through a couple enemies or areas where the enemies have respawned after you have rested at the bonfire. So, you know, as long as you get the items in the area or kill, you know, say you kill this guy and then you die later, you know you've already been through this area and killed this knight. You don't have to worry about coming back, so we'll grab our knight sword over here. Black knight sword. Not a bad choice of weapon to use if you want to use it. I'll let you see it real quick. 20 and 18. Very nice. Alright, so um, this next area <laughs> is uh, 
I'm pretty sure they put this area in the game to piss people off. So, what we're going to do is we are going to not even worry about the fireballs or the enemies, and we're going to go straight back and grab our undead bone shard. Because we are going to take some damage, and it's just really a pain in the butt. Wow, we're gonna die. Alright, so... We are just going to have to run back down. Alright, you can move, please. Alright. Forgot how cool you guys were. It's that first fireball. Just want the kid. We got the shard. Now, uh, hopefully, this thing lets go. Alright, we got the shard. That's all that matters. So, you're gonna head back if you stay alive. Head down this hallway. And drop down and kill the mama rat. Uh, the reason I dropped down so quickly. Simply because. Please, where's my shield? Oh, there it is. Uh, because all those guys were following me from the other rooms. Obviously, if you made it on the first try and you killed those guys, they wouldn't be following you. So, back to where we were. We dropped down right here. Um, come on up this way first. We'll be heading on down there in a little bit. First, we're going to head up. Say hello to this little rat. And there is a lava pit down there. First, we'll head this way. Kill a couple of rats in here. Alright. And illusionary wall. But before we go that way, this is kind of a shortcut if you didn't want to jump over that lava hole I'll show you guys real quick so that's where we just were a little shortcut and if you want to run down this way you can essentially don't want to go too far and attract a bunch of attention that is where we just were so just to give you an idea so head on in here and go to where we hit the illusionary wall, which is right there. And that is the other side of where we jumped down originally. And we will pick up this item here, which is another tome. And down here is the lava pit. So there's two items right here. Uh, I actually didn't... Dang. Well, let me see. Um, okay. Let me see if this will work for me here. I'm actually going to have to be at a bonfire. Uh, I didn't. Um, we could use flash wet and get those two items. We're going to have to use all of our Estus to get those, uh, to get those items. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Is that putting any weight on me? Why am I at 58? What am I wearing? Unless my vitality is just on point. That puts me at 80. No, thank you. Alright, well, then. So we will... Oh, no. We'll drop back down. And uh, where we originally dropped down. Please don't come down here. There's going to be an illusionary wall here. 
we'll grab our large titanite. That is a weird noise. Wow, three large titanite. And there will be another illusionary wall. And uh, down here is where we get the Foom Ultra Greatsword. But before we go that way, let me just make sure on where I'm going here. I think I want to go this way. We need to do that uh, lava pit. Okay, we'll go down here. We only have four uh, Estus, but we'll grab our staff. All right. Tight neck scale. And just nothing else in that area, so just... Uh, Oh, actually, you know what? Okay, right here. Hang over the left and then a right. And we will grab... Hello. I'm not really sure what he was doing up there, but... He was supposed to be down by the lava. So interesting that he was, uh... That he was up there. As you can see, we are back down here with the Night Slayer, and he is already coming after us pretty hard. Thought we were going to get a backstab in there. Oh, I thought wrong. Uh, we're definitely going to go with a more conservative approach this time through. I think I got just a little bit excited with how well last fight was going. Um, so, with that being said, to be very careful when he's two-handing because he does have the ability to one-shot you so do be cautious of that don't be afraid to use your Estus this sword is worth everything not everything this sword is worth it though <laughs> come on oh. you got me Give it to you there, sir. But I got you. Hmm. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down, Mr. Night Slayer. You're getting a little too excited for me. And I'm waiting for him to... That's what I was waiting for. there was going to be a slam after that. Ooh, definitely thought we got a backstab in there. That's alright though. Ooh, that would have been a... That would have hurt me really bad. Be extra cautious here. Come on. Come on back down the stairs, buddy. That's it. Whoa. 
was not ready for that. Ooh, thought we had the final blow there. One or two more hits here. Play extra conservative. Come on, I don't want to fight you up here, but it looks like I'm going to have to. That could have gone very south and very fast. So, what do you have for me here, sir? Foom Ultra Greatsword, as well as the Black Iron Great Shield. Both very good items. Both items that I recommend um, going through that battle for. So, um, just for this reason, 7, 8.1. We are putting on some armor that will help us uh, withstand some fire. We will look very silly, but hey, that's okay. All right, and we are good to go. We are looking pretty sweet. So, I did not mean to do that. Did I use my flash sweat? I can't tell. So we did. We'll grab the sacred flame. And we will die, but that's okay. Um, the other item is an ember. Frankly, I don't care to risk for Estes to go get an ember. If you want to get it, totally up to you. Um, with that being said, uh, kind of in a bind here because now my, my souls are down there. Ooh, hello, gentlemen. So we'll head back into this area and we'll see what we can get uh, from the other lava pit. If I can get to it here, I just, I cannot remember how to get to it. Oh, here it is, right here. Ha. Okay. So there are two items, not on the right side. The farthest one is going to be the hard one to get. Uh, we may only do one. I can't remember what the other item is, but... And it got us. So, we did lose our souls, but oh well. It was only like 8,000. The other item, it's not a, it's not a tome, but I can't remember what exactly it is. Uh, so we're going to be heading back down to where the giant mama rat is and the lava run that we did, kind of that area. Uh, we do have one more person to take care of and we'll be ending this part there. Um, we do have one more part, which will be the next part of Smoldering Lake, where we will be disabling the ballistas, uh, gathering all the items actually on top of Smoldering Lake, as well as, um, as, well as killing the giant skeleton worm, um, at which we will obtain probably one of the coolest slash best miracles in the game. So... Do stay tuned and be ready for that. It's gonna be sweet. Hi, froggies. Uh, make sure none of the froggies follow you up here. They'll just cause problems. 
And if they do kill them now... Because they're just a nuisance when it comes to fighting this knight. Um, now, compared to the Night Slayer, this knight is child's play. Uh, so do come over here. I don't recommend fighting him on the bridge. If you fall, you will die. I'm taking big hits right now from him. Come on. Oh, come on. This guy's getting some garbage hits. What happens when you roll the wrong way? Definitely a different move set though from the Night Slayer. With the Night Slayer, you just really need to be careful that you don't let him hit you. Uh, other than that, his move sets are rather easy to see and uh, dodge as long as you're conservative. Uh, with these guys, they kind of just free swing and you got to dodge, but they don't do quite as much damage. So we're going to end this part here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. And uh, I'll see you right here with the next part.